DC Comics. This is gonna mean a guaranteed A plus on my paper. Just by seeing this, your writing skills, grammatical prowess, and structural work won't play a role in that great at all? I mean, this is probably a false cover story anyway, but you don't have to make it so obvious. We're always happy to show off our prototype. Yes, that seems like a normal tech company stance. Come one, come all to see our latest unreleased inventions. We aren't afraid of patent theft at all. Also, you couldn't have set this tour up for the middle of the day rather than the heart of Theban time? Ninja Proof Notebooks. Also, this large group of ninjas throw two stars, wait six seconds, then throw a few more, then pause another couple seconds to throw two more. It's not the onset of one at a time itis we're used to, but the disease can present itself in sneaky ways. You know, the logos at the beginning were 30 seconds and hovering on the verge of tempting my wrath, but now you want to spend another minute on pre movie credits and you think your cool art design will save you? You've treated my mercy carelessly, and you shall now pay the price. Either the turtles left two pizzas out in the rain, or they just littered on the sidewalk. Either way, that's not the turtles I know and feel completely ambivalent about. I always find it odd that the T-Rex and the Penny are the only two things we see most of the time displayed in the Batcave. The mechanical T-Rex came from his adventure on Dinosaur Island all the way back in Batman number 35. And the Penny came from his misadventures with Penny the Plunderer in World's Finest Comics number 30. So did he just decide to stop collecting after 1947? I guess it's possible, but highly unlikely. Look at all the wasted space! Open containers near electronic equipment. Powers industrial is the recent victim in a string of break-ins. Man, we are going old-school storefront multi-screen news position on this one, huh? And now with crystal clear audio heard all the way into the street, even through the glass. Also, this sign simply says 30%, and because I'm an asshole, I'm just going to assume that means 30% of the original cost. And if the store says it means 30% off, then that's their fault for being needlessly vague. Oh, I see we're in the same version of the DC Universe where Metropolis and Gotham City are Bay relatives, and it's still just as stupid. Get it? Because the turtles like pizza so much, he squished a piece into his filthy the utility belt for later. This is a horribly unsanitary way to treat the food you love. You might as well have it stuffed up his cloaca. Umbrella weapons, because the penguin likes umbrellas. I get it, but do they have to be so colorful? I'm just saying, red, yellow, and blue weapons are not the recommended choice of colors for covert operations. A genius that I am, I figure we hit the Wayne lab first and sell the tech to our new friend, whoever they are. Makes sense that Penguin doesn't know who the new ninjas are in town, but how does he know they'll be hitting Wayne Enterprises? This is the third person with this knowledge but no one has bothered to explain how they came about it. The ninjas could be attacking LexCorp for all they know. After all, they would just have to jump on the ferry to get there. My favorite thing about this ninja trying to grab a hologram is that he's so confused he has to try and stab it two more times, even after it's clearly disappearing. Bad guys are always really smart until the plot needs them to be really dumb. And then they are super dumb. He's got a gun umbrella? A gun umbrella? How cool is that? I don't know. How cool was it when his henchmen used the same goddamn thing a minute ago? It's always the time for accuracy, Leo. Donnie would be a ninja at CinemaSense. He's got a gun umbrella? A gun umbrella? We'll have all the Force Man toes around here. Michelangelo is common denominator. The hell is Leonardo not getting shot right now? The bullet should at least be ricocheting off his plot armor. It's a sword umbrella too? It seems it is, but considering the blade came out of the same location as the gun barrel and he fired off at least a few dozen shots and he later flies away on it, where is all that hardware even coming from? Also, why did he have to jump off the building before activating the go-go gadget umbrella? He could have just popped off the propeller while standing on the ledge and took off. You picked the wrong battle, warrior. But Shredder was about to leave. All Batman did was shoot his harmless grapple gun at him, which Shredder quickly disarmed. So why did he jump down to fight? This fight had been going on for a while now, and while I get that seeing these two duke it out is sufficiently badass, there really is a limit to how much punch, kick, block, repeat that I could take. No one will be seated during the post fisticuffs 30 seconds of heavy breathing portion of the movie. They all survive this, and Raphael escapes multiple murder charges. And then the turtles have a conversation about whether or not he knew the dumpster was there. And then he says maybe. And then Donatello channels CinemaSins again and says that they might not have survived anyway. The way this movie tries to forgive its own stupidity by talking around it is downright exhausting. Think this is the guy working with Shredder? Could be. They had to follow Shredder and the Foot Clan to Gotham, and they really knew nothing about Batman. Maybe they should look into doing actual research and not just relying on conveniently timed newscasts. What the? Yeah, Leo, no one knows how that utility belt works. He always just seems to have whatever it is he needs at his disposal. At Hogwarts, they just called it the utility belt of requirement. And check to the face! I said to the face! Maybe not telling your opponent exactly what your attack strategy is could be beneficial. This place has 26 pizzas boxed up on its front counter, and while it's possible that pizza places have to make this many pizzas occasionally, they don't usually haphazardly just stack them in a common area for maximum comedic effect. Okay. Taser level 7. 
Neat weapon, but how is that helpful? Unless the person in question is literally right in front of the Batmobile. Seems rather limiting. Master Shredder, I trust you procured the Cloud Seeder from Wayne Enterprises. Imitation Jeff Goldblum is using some sort of two-lensed glasses on his face despite having the compound eyes of a fly. You will have to explain this setback to our partner. Who I won't mention by name because pronoun gaming is so much more fun for the audience. Remember... Your plan would be nothing without me and my supply of the ooze. Nothing to see here, just two grown men in costumes reminding each other of things they already know for the benefit of no one in particular. I just hope you can deliver all you've promised. If it's a demonstration you want. I would give all the sins back right now, plus 300, if the demonstration involved one Mr. Robert Matthew Van Winkle giving us a little Go Ninja Go Ninja Go. For the glory of the head of the demon! My college girlfriend's pre-Felicio pep talk somehow makes it into the script. Once we obtain the Cloud Seeder, Gotham's own citizens will tear their city to the ground. Why the f*** do these villains, especially in DC movies, always talk about their plans on the top floor of a building with openings in the roof from which superheroes can see and hear everything? Also, I get this movie is playing a little looser with these characters, but they keep saying Cloud Seeder with such a serious tone, and really any name for the device would have been better than that. Because Batman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder, the Penguin, Batgirl, and Ra's al Ghul weren't enough, let's throw Robin in as well. Is Ace the Bat Hound around? Maybe we can have a scene of Nightwing walking him while Poison Ivy is giving Nightwing a poisonous hand job and Harley Quinn is dealing with Knight's tail section. The way he fought, avoiding lethal blows, he wanted to figure us out. Like a detective. I feel like somewhere in the last 10 years, Warner realized that Batman fans jizz and juice anytime anyone refers to him as a detective. So they put out a memo that all Batman-related properties had to force in at least three detective references per movie. Why does Batman leave an open window in his lab in this day and age of two separate ninja teams running around wreaking havoc? Sure, maybe he knows Batgirl's gonna show up, but surely this kind of entry isn't necessary. And the DNA on this weapon suggests they were mutated by an outside agent. You got the turtle part and the ninja part, and now the mutant part. If only you knew how old they were. I love being an amphibian as much as the next guy. Amphibious, we're still reptiles. I swear Donatello exists just to make me mad by sinning things before I can. Well, guess what, Donnie boy? If you sin your own movie again, I'm just gonna let Sinsworth add a ding and move on. Now I can be even more lazy, so suck on that. I made a database of every reported Batman sighting and ran it through an algorithm that triangulated against the city's police records and natural cave formations. Yeah, but how do you know Batman uses a cave? Also, how many times does Batman go out and get sighted anywhere near his own Batcave? Look, I get it. The movie needs to sound super smart on how the turtles find Batman, but this is bull****. Also, also, years of supervillain geniuses couldn't find it. But give a pubescent mutated martial arts terrapin a computer in half a day and voila! Help! A tiny dude's like totally trying to kill me! This reminds me of a dream I had once about Warwick Davis and a chainsaw, which reminds me about another dream I had where Julianne Moore was wearing nothing and holding a chainsaw. Hmm, I have a lot of dreams about chainsaws. Well, then I may as well tell you that I know exactly who Shredder and the Foot are working with. You should have probably done that regardless, f***ing Robin. What did I say earlier about open containers and electronics? The sin is for not listening. And don't you expect me to pay for a new keyboard, young man? You did this to yourself. In the next minute on Shredder's way to Joker, he will meet cameos from Mr. Freeze, Bane, Osito, Scarecrow, Two-Face, Poison Ivy, and Harley Quinn. It's like all the ridiculousness of the Batman villain list from Lego Batman, but with none of the self-awareness or humor. Cowabunga! It's bad enough when you have to play all the hits from one universe, but this movie has to squeeze in forced references from two. So, this League of Assassins seems just like your standard evil ninja deal. Agreed, so where is Michael Dudikoff when you need him? Don't worry, it'll only work on someone who's been mutated in the last 12 hours. I might be able to look past the fact that Donnie and Batgirl conjured up this anti-ooze antidote in less than a day, but having a harder time with the 12-hour time limit they somehow injected into it. I've never seen an attack like that. It must have been the Sato Oshi strike. And the only information I needed to deduce that was that you'd never seen it before. So now I can go into some illustrated backstory narration about it just as God intended. Shredder may have ancient ninja moves, but I've still got a utility belt. Oh, I get it. Batman is stupid in this version. Are we sure Zack Snyder didn't direct this? Teenagers. Mutants. Ninjas. Turtles. I've never seen a roll credits moment that was so much not a roll credits moment, but at the same time, also so much was a roll credits moment in all my life. Leave before I finish. That never gets old. I'm still here. But why? Look, I'm not going to take the time to draw up the astrological charts or anything, but the chances that every character in this movie just happens to get their own Bruce Almighty Moon to jump in front of anytime they are running at night are, well, astronomical. It's not a race! 
I never said I didn't want to win. No, you said it's not a race, which means there isn't anything to win in the first place. So you're still a hypocrite. So the showers in this prison are fed by a water capsule? And one that just happens to be the same size and shape as a container of ooze? How fortunate. Also, apparently that canister got the loaves and fishes treatment because that tiny amount was enough for everyone with at least 12 baskets left over. Didn't Commissioner Gordon say that they had the perimeter locked down? Where are the people locking down the perimeter? This perimeter is super unlocked. Remember, this whole asylum is essentially a maze. First, why would Gotham make an asylum a complicated construction for one to get through? How is that helpful to anyone? And second, the turtles have never been here, so why the f*** would they remember anything? And on top of that, even before they were mutated, these inmates were the deadliest criminals in all of Gotham. Well, I mean, except Scarecrow, right? He has his moments, but I think Batman is playing a little fast and loose with the word deadliest. Hello, Batman. I was afraid you wouldn't show up. So the turtles were turtles before they were mutated, and they mutated into larger turtles with human characteristics. Why are all of Batman's enemies mutating into animals at all? And even if that's part of the deal, how would the mutagen know to make them something similar to their villainy persona? It's not like Jonathan Crane is actually a scarecrow, so why is he crow-like? Why didn't he take the features of an alligator or giraffe? No! no. Hey! Creature! Leave that kid alone! That's a decent Pink Floyd reference, Raphael, but you're facing off against Mr. Freeze, so something from The Thin Ice would have been more appropriate. Just a reminder, as Robin is playing some freeze tag here, that every single one of these random villain versus random superhero fights serve no point other than fan service. The stakes are completely unrelated to them, and they exist as filler in a 30-minute plot stuffed into a 90-minute movie. Feel free to enjoy them, but they mean nothing to this lazy story. Did they not tell you about me, little turtle? I'm the man who broke the bat! They really didn't need to, because that's pretty much the only thing you ever f***ing say when you meet people. Bane is that guy at the party who only has one thing to talk about. The antidote to Crane's gas. It should wear off quickly. You had an antidote? And you're just now trying to give it to him? All these years, I never realized what my true potential was. If they're all supposed to be manimals, then why is Ivy part plant? This movie is so simplistic and yet still manages to make no sense. Glad you could join us, Bats. You're just in time for the coin toss. Two-Face. What gave it away? Don't pout, Puddin'. I love you, Scales. I'm now wondering what snake on dog action is like, and I blame you, Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. At least this time. Ooh, that's weird and gross. Kink shaming. A bat Batman? Well, technically Joker said the mixture mutated him and made him crazy, so really he's a batty bat Batman. But what else? Father! Are you there? Oh great, now that Robin called Batman father, I can hear the orgasms of a bat army as they tremulously chitter about which Robin this is, and which bat time, and which bat channel that means this takes place in, and blah 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 blah. But to the casual viewer, this is a very confusing thing for Robin to say. I guess it's too difficult to serve new viewers when you're so busy using both hands to service the hardcore fandom. Oh, he's a bat monster after my own snake heart. But why isn't the middle-aged mutant psycho Batman going after the Joker too? Shouldn't he be just as in danger as everyone else? Hold! STILL! Anti-vaxxers. So Bat Beast is able to stop one hand but not the other? When did Man Bat's other hand become useless? So the anti-ooze worked, and that's no surprise. What is a surprise is that this vaccine also wipes away the Joker venom that makes you insane. He mixed the ooze with his own concoction. So how does the vaccine cure the insanity? I think he's gonna be okay. Assuming you have the knowledge of a doctor without being one, also known as 2020. Then this whole damn thing was just a giant distraction! You think? So here's where the bad guys find the Cloud Seeder, this boat with Wayne Enterprises stamped on it. Good job, world's greatest detective. You put all your resources into the Arkham Asylum battle, but didn't think maybe to send someone to spy on the boat and make sure nobody stole the device the bad guys are looking for? Yes, the boat was on its way to another city and it got hijacked and something something the Penguin, but you could have easily sent some people to check on its status while you fought Cobra Joker. Uh, don't feel too bad. I've been with a foot for years and I've never been paid. Which I guess is a mark in the hostage column. <laughs> this movie is quite funny at times, and I'm almost willing to give it a sin off, but since the comedy feels so out of place and the tone is all over the place, I guess I won't. Also, I'm an ass. Did everyone else know that Batman is Bruce Wayne? You take this one, Donnie. I mean, you knew the Batcave was under Wayne Manor. I gave you a chance, but you four are impulsive and you don't follow orders. I want you out of Gotham. What? Batman was the one that got stabbed by Joker's cocktail and nearly f***ed everything up. He's more like ass man in this movie, and not the fun kind. Also, how have Robin and Batgirl been any more helpful than the turtles? If the turtles are out, they should be as well. So many buttons. Could I please just... Don't. Press. Anything.
Why is there anything for Mikey to press? That's the passenger side. How would Batman press anything there if he was driving solo and needed to? Oh, sure. Now you've got so much anti-ooze that you can launch 12 of them at a T-Rex, but you could only take one when you went to Arkham. Does it have a plot-based manufacturing limit? Also, this ending is one severed Lewis Gossett Jr. arm from being Jaws 3. So this machine will rain down mutation on citizens, turning them all into, let's just say, mutants, which will create chaos and thwart superheroes by making the whole population no longer men and women, but X-Men and women. I swear I've seen this plot in another movie. What was it called? All right, The Amazing Spider-Man. And now nothing can stand in my way. Immediately followed by things that will stand in your way, cliche. Shredder is mine. Um, he's actually the turtle's arch nemesis. Got a pretty extensive list of villains, one of which is hanging out over by the cloud firmer. Why don't you let them have this one? Foolish child. I'm hundreds of years old and have trained with the greatest teachers in history. How could you possibly? Apparently this movie attended the Ow My Balls Academy of Entertaining Things. Any last words? Why doesn't Shredder just start with the mystical sh**? Why waste energy on normal hand-to-hand -hand combat when you can turn your arm into an earthquake or whatever nonsense he's about to do? We did it. There's technically no Robin in we, so I guess that's an accurate statement. No way Shredder could have survived that. Well, we've certainly counted him out before. So we definitely should investigate to make sure he's dead. We needed a code word that Batman would never normally say. I've heard the word Martha might do the trick. Forking your pizza. In the end credit scene, Shredder is now a Joker hybrid. So it was definitely worth not making sure he died in the fire. When I become a superhero, I will also make assumptions about supervillain deaths and have a pizza party to drown out the logic. Anyway, still better than Batman v Superman. All too easy. People be like, how is there a comment on the video when it just posted? Fans be like, I'm a member, mother You can be a mother member too. Get videos early, extra videos, bonus podcasts, swag discounts, and more. Click the Patreon link in the description or at cinemasins.com to take your sin to the next level. Those things, they were like lizard men or something. I'm the lizard gang. Why I've become like all of you, savage, fear-ridden. Who are you? I'm Batman. Take him down! We need answers! You want answers! I want the truth! Raz al Ghul. We finally meet face to face. What's up, Foot Clan? We don't have water bet videos this weekend, and that's really my fault. I had to do some stuff today. And Someone help me! I I'm still alive, only I'm very badly burned! Cowabunga! Say the line, Bart! Whistlers make your mouth so very happy. A polar bear with an ice gun. That is so cool. You are not sending me to the cooler. Although, all this personal growth can make a plant hungry. I'm starving. No capes.